Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered looking at a stock market website? How can you create something like this? Say it shows the various trends one month, three month, six months, and so on, all these analysis. So let's let's try to create something like this in Power BI. Let's co-create and see how it will look like. So for this purpose, I have downloaded 10 year data for Apple and Microsoft. So you can see the symbols, AAPL stands for Apple and MSFT stands for Microsoft. So we have around 5000 plus records of quality data starting from 2010 until today, 2020. And we have open close all this information, but I'm currently focusing on this close value. The every day's final closing number. So this Excel contains Apple and Microsoft. So let's go and fetch this data. So I've downloaded this. So you can always uh, download from website, you can create APIs and everything, which is always possible. But the purpose is to show how to create this moving averages. So I'm not going much detail into the APIs and uh, direct web link integrations and all those things. So it's, it's good to go, but I'll just, I usually go to transform data just to make sure all the web uh, data types are correct or not. Only thing I want to check here is that whether the date, the data type is date itself or not. Yes, so close and apply, good to go. So the data is being loaded to Power BI. So once it is loaded, first let's do a trend analysis. The data is loaded, the historical code table is created and all the fields and columns which we have seen in the previous screen is already loaded. So first let me create a line chart. So this line chart, let me make it big. Here I will have to show all the uh, analysis and the trend. That, that's what we are going to make here. I also want to show the symbols. So by default you can see it's created as a table, but I need it as a filter. So I'll reduce the size. And I don't want everything to be selected. I want it to be a radio button. So single select is on. So it will be a radio button. Yes, good to go. So now here I wanted to select the date parameter here. Definitely not the hierarchy. This and the values will be the closing values. Here you go. You can see this is for Microsoft and that's for Apple. It's good to show the data labels. It's it's all up to your choice, but I, I prefer something like this. So you can see the Microsoft uh, numbers are trending up and the current rate is $183. Whereas Apple, Apple is always high. So it's 316. Now, how can you drag this? Let's create one more slicer with the date. Yep. So let's make it a big, small. As you can see, if I reduce, it, it always changes. So it's from state so let's make it big so now it's good to go we have the data we have apple microsoft and the trend line is available now let's create the moving average that's what our whole purpose was so how to create the moving average 
we will have to create one new measure this is a formula I already prepared and I will explain this how I am creating this uh, new measure so the measure name is one month average and this variable and return I will explain later this part is a major formula the calculate so under calculate what I am going to calculate here the sum of the daily closure values definitely this is a number which we are plotting so to what period you want to uh, calculate this number so the dates in period is from this date and this is the start date so start date is a historical date and the interval from start date minus 30 or minus one month so here I have the options like day month quarter and year I can put minus 30 as interval and I can put day here like this 30 as the interval and number of days or I can put 1 and say that this is a month so for last one month take all the values sum it up divided by calculate the distinct count of all the dates so it is possible that on Sunday and Saturday there, there may not be uh, values available because there is no trading so you cannot simply divide by 30 you should take the distinct count of whichever date the values were available so again the dates in period this is the date which we are um, referencing so this is a reference date and this is the start date and this is the interval so in this in this case we are going back so my start date is say for example today minus 30 and then this is the month so again in this example it's a one month average so I created a variable named interval you can put any name for this variable so for a meaningful purpose I put interval equal to minus one and I put month over here to de denote that I'm going from start date to one month before and I'm returning this value so this is one month average it's created let me copy this same way I can create another measures so it's always easier to have these variables in place so if I want to create a three months average nothing else to do it's three rest everything remains the same and similarly I will be creating six months and nine months this is six six nine so that's the power of using variable otherwise we'll have to change everywhere now you have that all the variables created let's drag this in one month you can just click here also so it takes a little bit time to calculate because all these calculation formulas are loading now and then it is calculating for Apple because we have selected Apple it has loaded but as you can see it's it looks so clumsy here you have I don't like to see it as close or last it will be should be the average sorry and let me rename I'll just put it as stock value you can name it as as per your wish so now I wanted to see this stock value and against that I want to see one month three months six months and nine months etc here definitely when I move around it shows all the values but this is not what I want I wanted to single select that for Apple stock what was the nine month moving average or for example for Microsoft 
this will be the trend line so if I select say nine month average it will be highlighted six months average that will be highlighted but I want to select Microsoft and the nine month average Microsoft also six six months average so how do I do that I cannot simply drag in a measure and put six months it doesn't work so I will have to create another table for this and what should be the table name that I really don't care I just need a key and value why a key you can still live without a key but uh, it will be helpful while sorting say for example I have one month uh, three month six month and nine month suppose if you are creating for uh, two year five year max and all then you need sorting so you cannot sort based on this value because it will be alphabetically sorted so you need a key so let's create a table it's applying changes and this table will be created here this has a value so what should I do with that I'll create yep again a filter radio button instead of selecting everything and let me minimize this but I have not joined these tables historical codes are separate and this new table is separate so when I click on this nothing happens so how do I link these two if I link this one month and this one month average then the moment I click on this radio button I will only see that one month moving average line for Microsoft and the same with Apple so how do I do that again I need to create a link here because there is no point in going to the stables or the, the joins modeling because I cannot join anything because this value has nothing to do with any of the columns in historical codes so what I will do I will go and create one more quick measure you can click on this easy fields also but that's that's usually the habit so I will create say one month equal to switch all selected selected from where the table value what should be the value I created I think it's one month and what is the reference to be switched which is from the historical one month average so when I do this it will create a reference if I create select this sorry I did not add it over here so I'll remove all these and add 1m over here so currently this 3m nothing is selected when I select 1m to 1 month average so here you can see it is showing Microsoft stock value and 1 month average if I click on Apple it shows Apple the current value and one month average so let's go and create the same for three months six months and nine months so let me copy this and then create new measure it's for three months this is equal to three that's it and for six months and nine months there you go now just add three month six months and nine months this gives a better picture for a year duration 
and I don't like to see this one month three months six months over here because it doesn't make sense anymore so we can remove the legend looks good and this even this title so the title should be something around uh, stock value and moving average that's what our whole purpose purpose was stock value and moving average that's it now if you select microsoft one month now when you select three months it will calculate for three months if you select nine months you select nine months it will show nine month average and that's it now you have many other options like if you go to formatting or uh, the view options you can change the theme change the page view create the mobile layout so suppose if you go to theme gallery or customize the current theme because some people would like to see the black screen instead of the white screen the stock usually comes in the uh, in, in the black theme with uh, different colors of layout so so you can change all these over here name card advance the text visuals the border background header tool tips the tool tip is something which when you move the arrow here it will show all the numbers and the page filter pane so i'm not going to change any of this you can explore over there so this is something which i mentioned by tooltip yep there you go so this is how you create uh, moving average trends from various stock symbols you can try out yourself you can download into excel or you can directly try connecting from the web pages there are options available or you can choose apis probably in the next um, videos we will try out something like how to extract directly or take online data or you you can connect your, your your database or website or somewhere and take the data directly which is all possible but the core content should be the then the extensions like apis and all you can always create which which is not not so big so now you know how to create a stock market trend in power bi as you can see this is the trend analysis chart and there are candles possible because we have open high low close and everything so this is also possible in power bi probably you can explore it or tune in so in some of the next videos i'll, I'll come up with the same thank you all so if you like this please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much